everybody, how's it going? This is Darren Goodman with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. Uh, today I want to show you how to play three really easy ACDC riffs. Um, so this one's going out there to all you beginners and stuff. So uh, this will give you three really cool recognizable riffs that are fun to play and you know everybody knows what they are and stuff. Uh, fairly easy to pick up. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is TNT. Uh, so we start off, it's, it looks like E minor, but it's, it's just an E5 power chord. So we're just gonna take our first finger and we're just gonna bar it across the uh, second fret of the fifth and the fourth string. Now, if that's difficult for you to do, you, know, you don't even need to necessarily get the fourth string, just the sixth and five together is, is uh, plenty. But you're going to want that first finger to kind of be arced over so the rest of the strings are muted so you don't hear them making uh, noise. So this is in 4-4 timing and we've got this is on the downbeat of 1. So it's like 1 or 1 and then you rest on 2 and then the downbeat of 2 or excuse me the downbeat of 3 and then on the end of 3 we hit just the third fret of the sixth string with your third finger and then we rest on the downbeat four and then on the and of four we do an a5 power chord so it's the same shape we were doing on e5 it's just that now we're going to move up so we're on the we're fretting the second fret of the fourth string and the fifth string is open and again you, know, you can bar the third string too or just those two is fine so we have Then after we hit this on the and of four, it's on the downbeat, it's tied to the downbeat of one of the next measure. And then on the and of one, we rest, we rest on the downbeat of two, and then on the and of two, we hit that same uh, third fret of the sixth string, and then on the downbeat of three, we hit that A5, back to this third fret of the sixth string again for the and of three and then we rest on four and then it just repeats just like that all right now we're going to look at uh dirty deeds done dirt cheap um, this one actually is really easy too, but it actually starts off with the same chord as um, TNT does. So we're going to do that that same E5, uh, and this takes um, three and a. It, it's so it's like a half note tied to a quarter note tied to an eighth note. So it's like one, two, three, four, and. And then on the and of four, we do this G5. So for that chord, third fret of the sixth string with your second finger, and then the uh, fourth and third string are open. So when you go to play this, you want your second finger to mute that fifth string so you can't hear it. But you could do a full, I mean, you could do a full on G major if you wanted to, or just like the other G5 voicing like that. So we have back to the E5 again. It's like one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then on the and of four now, we go to the A5, just like in the last song. Back to E5. And then we've got D5. So for this D5, it's just like a D major, just minus this note on the first string. So just to make the transition easy, I use my first finger on the second fret of the third string and my second finger on the third fret of the second string. So. And follow that with the E5. So that D5 is on the and of four of measure three. It's tied to the downbeat of one on measure four. And then when we go back to that, that's just rings out for the, the rest of the, the and of one and then beats two, three, and four. And then it just repeats. You got it. 
just like that. All right, and then finally we've got um, Highway to Hell. So this one has, you know, it's a little bit more complicated than the previous two, but it's still uh, fairly easy. So we start off with that same A5 power chord that we did before, and we're going to play um, three eighth notes in a row. So it's like one and two and three, four, uh, and then on the end four is when we switch chords. So this next chord is um, it's D5 over F sharp. So the way that um, there's a couple of ways that you can play this, but the if you what it is that you you've got a uh, like a D like that same D that we did that D five that we did in the last one, but we've got the bass note as the um, is F sharp, the second fret of the uh, the. Uh, sixth string. All right, so the way I do this, you know, start off with the A, then I move like I'm just going to play like a G, like a regular G chord. Even though we're not playing on the first string, this just, I already have muscle memory to this, so it makes it easy. So I put these two fingers, my third finger on the uh, third fret of the second string and my fourth finger on the third fret of the first string. Then my second finger onto the second fret of the third string. And I put my first finger uh, onto the second fret of the sixth string. And then we have the chord. So the fifth and fourth strings are open. And then it switches from that to, the, to D5 over G. So basically all that happens is that the bass note moves from the second fret to the third fret. So what I, I do is I just put my first finger where my second finger is and then put my uh, second finger on the third fret. So. And then back to the A5. So. And then that just simply repeats. So. So this transition, if you know, it might give you a little bit of trouble, you know, uh, especially if you you're a beginner. So my recommendation would just be to sit there and practice making that change, you know, just so you get um, you get used to doing it. You know, there are other ways that you could do it. You know, I've seen people they'll play it and they're they'll use their uh, They use their thumb to play the F sharp and then their third finger to come up and do that. You know, if that if that's easier for you, you know, great, you know, do it that way. Um, um, I have, I, I, I don't use my thumb over the top of the neck a whole lot just because I've, um, from a, uh, an accent I have with my thumb, it's, it's mobility isn't really great. So sometimes that's not really a great choice for me to do that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that and you got something out of it. If you like the lesson, you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below if there's something you'd like to see either myself or one of the other instructors at guitarcontrol.com do in a future lesson. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And that's all I got for you today. So until next time.